Hi everyone, my name is Yahani and I'm a final year international aid and development student from Murdoch University and I'm currently completing my sustainable internship project at the Southeast Regional Centre for Urban Land Care, also known as CIRCLE. And today I will be talking to you about the life cycle of a dragonfly. To begin with, what is a dragonfly? A dragonfly is neither a dragon nor a fly, but they do possess a certain magical charm as insects. A dragonfly's life begins in water. Before they undergo a remarkable transformation, emerging as dazzling aerial acrobats, with over 5,000 species worldwide, dragonflies come in a stunning variety of shapes, sizes and colours, each with distinct habitats and behaviours. These fascinating creatures are among the oldest insects, with a lineage dating back approximately 300 million years. As some of the first wing insects, dragonflies are remarkable predators, utilizing their keen vision and exceptional flying skills to hunt and capture prey. And one of the most recognized species is the green darner, easily identifiable by its vivid green thorax. In Australia, we have about 325 species of dragonflies. However, there's one continent where you won't find them at all. Can you guess where? The answer is Antarctica. This absence is due to a dragonfly's preference for freshwater habitat such as rivers, lakes, ponds and streams. You might even spot them in your backyard if you have a pond or marsh nearby. Now let's have a look at the different colours of dragonflies. Dragonflies are nature's kaleidoscopes, flaunting a stunning array of vibrant colours that differ widely among species. You'll find them in shades of brilliant blues, emerald green, sunny yellow, fiery red and even shimmering metallic tones. These dazzling hues result from both pigmentation and the unique structural coloration created by microscopic ridges on their exoskeletons which reflect light in fascinating ways. Male dragonflies often sport the brightest colors to attract mates and fend off rivals, while females and juveniles usually wear more muted tones for effective camouflage. What makes dragonflies even more captivating is their colour changing ability. Their appearance can change with age, temperature and light conditions, making these insects not only diverse but also intriguingly dynamic. This is a video of the Crimson Marsh Glider male dragonfly. Moving on to some interesting facts about dragonflies. Dragonflies undergo an incomplete metamorphosis. Unlike butterflies and other winged insects that have a pupil stage, dragonflies transition directly from larvae to adults. This final transformation happens outside of the water, triggered by changes in day, length and temperature and can be displayed in certain species like the emperor dragonfly. In preparation for their final molt, the last stage larvae settles in shallow waters near the edges for several days accumulating to breathing air. Most dragonflies leave the water in the morning but a special species such as the hawker's dragonflies prefer the cover of darkness for this crucial stage. These agile, vibrant creatures are more than just pretty sights. 
They are nature's tiny aerial acrobats and pest controllers. Did you know dragonflies help humans by controlling populations of pest insects, especially those that threaten us the most, such as mosquitoes and biting flies? Dragonflies can fly in any direction, including sideways and backwards, and can hover in a single spot for a minute or more. Let's have a look at the dragonfly's anatomy. Dragonflies are fascinating creatures known for their unique anatomy, which is adopted for their aerial lifestyle. So let's uncover the different parts of a dragonfly, starting with the head. The head of a dragonfly is large and dominates its body. It contains large compound eyes which provide excellent vision for hunting prey. And dragonflies have incredible eyesight with nearly 360 degree vision. Moving on to the thorax. The thorax is the middle section of the dragonfly's body. It houses the powerful muscles that control the wings. And dragonflies have two pair of wings, one pair attached to each side of the thorax. Then we have the abdomen. The abdomen is the elongated rare section of the dragonfly's body. It contains the digestive and reproductive organs. The abdomen is often adorned with colorful markings which can vary between species. Then we have the legs. Dragonflies have six legs, which are adopted for grasping prey in flight. Their legs are covered in tiny hairs that help them capture and hold on to their prey. And dragonflies have two pairs of wings, giving them exceptional agility in flight. Their wings are incredibly thin and delicate, yet strong enough to withstand the stresses of a flight. Dragonflies have antennas. Dragonflies have very short bristle-like antennas. Unlike many other insects, their antenna are not used primarily for sensing the environment. Instead, dragonflies rely heavily on their large compound eyes for navigation and hunting. Dragonflies have eyes which are really huge and they cover most of their head, giving them nearly 360 degree vision. Dragonflies also have a respiratory system as they breathe through small opening called spiracles located on the sides of their abdomen. Oxygen is drawn in through these openings and distributed throughout their body. How and what do dragonflies eat? Dragonflies are super efficient hunters, snagging an impressive 90 to 95 percent of the prey they go after. That's way better than sharks, who only nab about half of what they hunt. And they're speed demons too, zooming forward at about 100 times their own body length every second. But what's on a dragonfly's menu? These airborne predators have quite the appetite. They feast on a buffet of insects like mosquitoes, flies, gnats, and even other smaller dragonflies. Dragonflies are carnivore predators feeding on these smaller insects. They catch their prey mid-air using their sharp maneuvers and agile flying skills. And when it comes to devouring their catch, they've got some serious chompers. With teeth and a powerful jaw, they mash up their prey before devouring it. So whether you're a tiny bug around or even another dragonfly, watch out for these aerial assassins. Dragonflies reproduction. Dragonflies engage in a meticulous courtship ritual and the male and female dragonflies mate whilst flying in the air or perched on surfaces. After mating, the female lays her eggs directly in water or near water bodies where the nymphs will develop. The eggs hatch into aquatic nymphs which undergo a series of mold as they grow and develop in the water. This stage of their life cycle can last for several months to a few years depending on the species. As the nymphs mature, they undergo a dramatic metamorphosis. 
they emerge from the water and transform into adult dragonflies, shedding their aquatic lifestyle and developing wings for flight. This process of reproduction in dragonflies is a vital aspect of their life cycle, ensuring the continuation of their species and contributing to the ecological balance of their habitat. A dragonfly nymph. A dragonfly nymph or a baby dragonfly has eyes, a head, leg, an abdomen, an anal appendage, wing pads, thorax, an antenna, and a labrum. So, what are dragonfly nymphs? Dragonfly nymphs represent the underwater stage of a dragonfly's life cycle. These nymphs inhabit freshwater environments where they lie in wait to ambush anything smaller than themselves. From mosquito larvae to tiny fish, their development is marked by molting where they shed their exoskeleton to accommodate their growing bodies. This process is essential for their growth with some species remaining in this stage for months or even years. And when the time comes, the nymphs undergo an astonishing transformation. They crawl out of their water, shed their final exoskeleton, and emerge as adult dragonflies ready to soar through the skies in search of mates to continue their life cycle. This is what a dragonfly nymph or a baby dragonfly looks like. Dragonfly nymphs possess remarkably good eyesight, almost comparable to adult dragonflies, allowing them to spot and hunt prey effectively. Dragonfly nymphs have unique breathing and movement patterns. They breathe underwater by drawing water into their anal appendages, where it passes over internal gills to extract oxygen. As top predators in the aquatic habitats, dragonfly nymphs play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem by controlling populations of other insects and serving as prey for larger animals. Dragonfly nymphs with their alien-like appearance and predatory skills are fascinating creatures that undergo one of nature's most dramatic transformations. Now let's have a look at the life cycle of a dragonfly, which contains four stages. Stage 1. Dragonflies lay their eggs in or near water, often choosing calm, shallow areas where the eggs are less likely to get swept away. Some species lay their eggs directly in the water, while others attach them to underwater plants or rocks. That leads us to stage two. As the egg hatches, out comes a nymph. These juvenile dragonflies may not look like the ones we're used to seeing. They're aquatic creatures with long, slender bodies and powerful jaws. Nymphs spend most of their lives underwater, hiding among rocks and plants, waiting to ambush their prey. And then it leads us to stage three, emergence. After months or even years underwater, the nymph is ready for its next adventure, which is the most exciting part. It climbs out of the water onto a plant stem or rock and begins its transformation into an adult dragonfly. This process is called emergence and it's like watching a caterpillar turn into a butterfly. And voila, our nymph has turned into a beautiful adult dragonfly with its transparent wings and vibrant colors it's ready to take flight. Adult dragonflies are amazing flyers, darting and hovering around as they hunt for food and find mates. Some species migrate long distances 
traveling thousands of miles in search of new habitats and breeding grounds. So there you have it, the incredible life cycle and habitat of dragonflies. From egg to nymph to adult, these fascinating insects play a vital role in our ecosystem. So the next time you're near a pond or stream, keep an eye out for these magical creatures and marvel at the wonder of nature. Since dragonflies are magical creatures, we have to do our best to protect their habitat. There are several ways to do so, but here are three ways to protect dragonflies' habitats. This involves several steps aimed at preserving their natural environments and ensuring sustainable ecosystem. Number one, protecting wetlands. Dragonflies thrive in wetland environments such as ponds, marshes and rivers. Protecting these habitats from destruction or degradation is crucial. This includes enforcing laws and regulations that safeguard wetlands from being drained, filled or polluted. Number two, water quality management. Ensuring clean water is essential for dragonflies as their larvae develops in aquatic environments. This involves reducing pollution from agriculture runoff industrial discharges and sewage and promoting sustainable agricultural practices and proper waste management can significantly improve water quality. Last but not least, habitat restoration. Restoring degraded wetland habitats can help revive dragonfly populations. This can include removing invasive species, reintroducing native plants, and re-establishing natural water flow patterns to create a suitable environment for dragonflies and other wildlife. So, let's have a look at some key points about dragonflies based on what we've learned. Number one, they're ancient insects. As I mentioned before, dragonflies are among the oldest living insects with ancestors dating back approximately 300 million years. Number two, incomplete metamorphosis. They undergo incomplete metamorphosis transitioning directly from aquatic nymphs to winged adults without a pupil stage. Number three, their remarkable flying skills. Adult dragonflies are exceptional flyers, capable of hovering, flying backwards and changing directions swiftly. They can also reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour. Number four, their acute eyesight. Dragonflies have excellent vision with large compound eyes that give them nearly 360 degree vision, crucial for hunting and avoiding predators. Number five, color and appearance. Dragonflies display a wide range of vibrant colors, including blues, greens, reds, and metallic hues. These colors can change with age, temperature, and light conditions. Last but not least, the role in the ecosystem. Dragonflies play an important ecological role by controlling insect populations, particularly pests like mosquitoes and biting flies. Dragonflies are not just beautiful and intriguing creatures. They are vital components for their ecosystems and have a fascinating life history that highlights the complexity and adaptation 
susceptibility of insects. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed and learned lots about dragonflies. Remember to stay tuned and subscribe for more videos. And if you would like to purchase informative posters about the life cycle of dragonflies or you would like any other information, please go visit Circle's website for more information, which will be linked down below. Thank you so much.